Hey guys, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, and welcome to a little Christmas special I decided to record for you right now. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a quick little playthrough, or perhaps a partial playthrough, of Kickle Cubicle. Now, this is not going to be a playthrough of the whole game. I ju actually just went through the main game, uh, just sort of off-camera, in order to get to the really interesting and exciting stuff, similar to Rockin' Cats, for those of you who watched that LP. Uh, there is an ex a bunch of extra stages for you to play after you go through the main game of Kickle Cubicle. Uh, supposedly much, much more difficult than the main game, which it turned out to be quite easy. Not as easy as I remembered, but uh, still. To make things interesting for myself and for you guys, I've decided I'm going to be playing through the extra stages of Kickle Cubicle. There are 30 of these from what I rem or not from what I've read out there. Uh, I've never played through them myself, so this should be uh, kind of interesting. So yeah, we're going to put in our password that we've got for those stages. Uh, F. Uh, yeah, F for uh, yeah festive tidings upon you all on this fine Christmas season. I hope you are all having a lovely time out there and whatever it is you're doing. This video, of course, will be going up on... Christmas Eve, actually, it turns out, because I'm not going to be around Christmas Day. So, uh, yeah, for those of you out there who have the time to watch it, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to you all. B and G are next. Uh, BG, BG means bad game, short for bad game in Dota. That's something you say after a game if it, you're very poor-mannered. Don't ever say BG after a game of Dota. That's not, not a nice thing to do. Always try to be positive. Uh, J. Yeah, as I said, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, or just Jasu for short, I guess. There is no B following this. Um, I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, I, I don't really know quite what's in store for us here. Uh, so, yeah, why, why did I decide to record... Uh, yeah, basically a blind playthrough of the Kickle Cubicle extra stages and record them as a Christmas special. Um, why did I do that? I'll get to that in a moment, I suppose, or in a little while maybe. Nevertheless, I'm sure it will be awesome, an a awesome time, or an awesome time, if you want to be grammatical about it. And, um... Xerox for some reason, I guess. And there we are, uh, the special game, round one. Uh, two extra lives, that's irrelevant. This game gives you unlimited lives. So, okay, to start things off, uh, the music you are hearing in the background is, uh, yeah, a little uh, CD that was put together by a dude I used to know a long time ago, a fellow named Jesse Brown, or the downtown Jesse Brown, as he is sometimes known in the local on the local music scene and yeah he used to be my piano teacher uh many 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 years ago and he's got a christmas cd out right now uh which is called december which you can uh get for yourself on itunes uh a link to that will be posted below in the description and i've, I've got some other music out there uh that uh, on the playlist that I've put together for this. Uh, I've got about an hour's worth of music prepared for this. And, but yeah, if we go much over that, then I'm just going to call it, and uh, we'll have a partial playthrough of the Kickle Cubicle Extra Stages. Um, wow, this is much trickier than I was expecting. That might end up being the case. That uh, Okay, I think I know what to do. So we put this here. And, oh, we, okay, so uh, what is Kickle Cubicle? This is basically a little puzzle game uh, released for the Nintendo in, I'm not sure exactly what year, maybe 1992 or so, whatever, it was, you, you saw that on the title screen, I'm sure, released by IREM, or EREM, possibly, not sure of the pronunciation of that, and, uh, yeah, sort of a little, little puzzle game released on the N Nintendo Entertainment System back in... Sometime in the early 90s, I would guess, for sure. And uh, yeah, this is a puzzle game in this similar vein to uh, The Adventures of Lolo. And uh, man, <laughs> I was not expecting to have this much trouble. Like, most of the puzzles in uh, the main game of Kickle Cubicle, you kind of solve in like, you know, less than 10 seconds, like 10 to 15 seconds to solve the puzzle. And then sometimes there's some execution that goes into that. Whoa, okay. 
Um, I guess, yeah, so to explain the mechanics, uh, you've got your ice breath, which you use to, you've probably seen, uh, figured out the mechanics by now, but uh, yeah, you use, use your ice breath to freeze enemies, get up close to the ice blocks that they create, and you can kick them, hence the name Kickle Cubicle. You're a cube kicking dude. And yeah, the idea, uh, kick kick a cube in the water and it uh, creates an ice block for you to stand on. And you can also you press the A button to uh, bring up these little ice pegs, which you can use to uh, block, basically, yeah, uh, block things, block off monsters and create a little safe space for yourself or potentially use it to block uh, the cubes that you're kicking around. This P down here will freeze all of the enemies on the screen, typically not essential for clearing puzzles. Oh, I really like this. Oh, oh and I'm about to run out of time. That is, I have never run out of time on a Kickle Cubicle. I've, yeah, or I don't know if that's just for score if or if you actually die. I guess we're about to find out in a moment. So yeah, you cannot raise ice pegs on these uh, sort of darker blue squares. And there it is, time <laughs> Oh, he's uh, not happy about that. Oh, this might not end up going our way. Excuse me, taking a bit of a swig of the eggnog there. So why am I uh, playing this game right now? Well, basically, uh, this is a game from my childhood, sort of. I rented it a few times, and I really, really liked it back in the day. I actually probably rented this, like probably anywhere from three to five times way back in the day. I would have been like maybe five or six years old <laughs> back then. Uh, don't worry about me running out of lives. You have unlimited continues in this game. And uh, yeah, unlimited con continues and uh, a continue doesn't send you back at all. You just start at the start, uh, beginning of the stage and you lose your score, which is uh, kind of irrelevant. I uh, really like this music. Very, very nice and chillaxed kind of music for, yeah, very... Yeah, very cool and chillaxin' kind of guy. Yeah, this is this is exactly the kind of uh, yeah Christmas CD I would expect out of Jesse. Very nice take on the standards. Uh, enough plugging him. Uh, if this is your thing, uh, again, <laughs> uh, please be sure to check that out on iTunes if this is the kind of thing you're interested in. And enough of the plugs. Actually, it's not enough of the plugs. I'll be plugging another <laughs> uh, Christmas album once we get to that on the playlist. Which we probably will by the time we get through these levels. There are 30 of them from what I've read, and we are not making a lot of progress. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, this is... Oops. Okay, I got my keys back. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on the keyboard here. My controller at the moment is sadly broken. So yeah, hopefully I'll get one of those for Christmas. Fingers crossed. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'd trust any of my family members to buy a, 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 good, a suitable controller. I don't know. That, that would be a very nice surprise if they just got me like a really, really, really good gamepad that would be really suitable for 2D games like this. If not, you know, I'm not that bad off. I can certainly buy one after Christmas is over uh, if things don't work out my way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it'd be nice to have, and it certainly wouldn't be too expensive either. I've got some expensive things on my list that I hate. I don't know what, how you guys are about Christmas lists. I tend to put a lot of things on my list, not because I'm greedy or anything, but just because I want other people to have an easy time of it. Because, I, I don't know, if you're like me, I, I don't really like Christmas shopping at all. I've had like I've spent, had to spend a lot of time in the last week or so uh, just looking for things on other people's lists, because other people in my family don't have a lot of things on their lists, and the few things that they do have, most of them don't exist, as far as I can tell. It's like, yeah, a t-shirt with uh, the name of a hockey player who hasn't played since, like, the 80s. It's like, I, I don't know if that's so easy to find. And yeah, so as to make, and you know, because I have so much trouble with the Christmas shopping, in order to make things easier for everyone else, I try to have, you know, a big long list of things so that, you know, you got a lot of things to choose from. Not too hard to find something. I mean, yeah, I, I, I like to be considerate like that. I, I know some people, that's just sort of me explaining why I'm not greedy. Or, oh, oh, okay, that's a mechanic that I forgot about, so... Oh, you know what? I think I've solved this. Yes. No? Yes. And then we go like this, and this, and... Oh, that! 
<laughs> oh my. And yeah, the objective of the game is to clear is to collect all of these flashing red bags in each level. And I don't... This is an extremely simple game. The reason I'm going off on tangents about, you know, Christmas lists and downtown Jesse Brown's new Christmas CD on sale, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to plug, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the reason I'm going off on tangents on that is basically this is an extremely simple game, and I'm not... I've got an hour's worth of music, and there's 30 levels to go through. I'm not going to... I can't talk about Kickle Cubicle for that long, I'm sorry. It's just, it's a good game. I really liked it. In fact, yeah. So let's go back to, yeah, this is, well, actually, this is an extremely easy game. At least the main game is very easy. Or, it gets, actually, some of the, the levels themselves get very difficult. They're not very difficult, kind of difficult towards the end. There's some tricky timing that has to go on. And here's another mechanic we see here. All of these are things that appeared in the main game that you'd be familiar with if you played through. And, uh, oops, oh, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can actually die in this game, getting hit by your own ice blocks. There are hammers that can rotate and kill you. Pretty much every enemy kills you. A lot of ways to die in this game. So what do we need to do here? Anyways, yeah, um, the puzzles in this game are pretty easy, and even if you can't really figure them out yourself, you know what, I should probably start pausing occasionally just to stop. You know what, yeah, time over doesn't matter. We have unlimited lives anyways, and I'm having a hard time focusing on what I'm doing. Yeah, this is one of the... F In fact, I believe this is the first game that I ever beat uh, as a kid. Because yeah, I, was, I was really bad at games back in the day. But uh, this one, you can just kind of beat it if you just stick at it. Even if you can't figure out the puzzles, there's sort of a limited number of... Th there's only so ma many places you can kick each ice block. So eventually, just by trial and error, you're going to figure things out. It probably took me like hours and hours uh, back in the day, but I did beat this game as a kid, and as a result, this kind of has a special place in my heart. It was one of my favorite games back in the day, even though I never actually owned it and probably only played it, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a dozen times between uh, four or five rentals. I'm, that's a do about a dozen play sessions, that is. I probably played, like, I don't know, maybe a dozen hours or so. I, sh I shouldn't even try to remember. It's been like how it Oh my goodness. It's probably been close to 20 years since the last time I played this game. Or since I was a kid playing this game, that is. Uh, yeah, of course I did just play this going through the main game. It was, it was tougher than I remembered. I'm actually surprised that I was able to get through it as a kid. But again, infinite lives, infinite patience. Uh, it's not too, too bad to get through as long as you just stick it out trial and error. Of course, the, the puzzles aren't actually too difficult. Oh, right, so you can only kick it when it's... is that the case? So yeah, the, the button to kick and breathe ice is the same button. Oops, uh, I was trying to test something out there. Man, these are tough. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. So okay, let's have a look at this. So we've got three ice blocks, so given the way that these, uh, these levels have been designed so far, I'm guessing... Yeah, th those little enemies are the only ones who can be turned into ice blocks. These other guys are uh, just the penguin dude here, for example, and other enemies you'll see are just there to get in your way. Your main sort of building blocks in this game are the little round dudes who look familiar. I feel like I've seen an enemy of that type in another game before. You know, those are the Zelda 2 slimes, it looks like, with uh, eye their eyes closed, I guess. Okay, maybe let's try to get... Uh, one going on each of these springs, and see if that gets us anything. Yeah, the, the controls in this game are a bit weird. It's If you, if you just lightly tap on a button, uh, you can just uh, change direction without walking. But uh, that sort of tap threshold is very long. You can hold the button down for like a fairly long time. Basically, the way it works is you can... Uh, yeah, basically, if you let go of the button before you're halfway to the next square, it just uh, doesn't take you all the way. You can only move one tile at a time in this game. So what do we do now? I guess, um... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that didn't do what I was like, hoping for. Okay, I think I know what to do here. Okay, I think... Oh, I think we're... I feel like we're getting close. Oh, I've screwed it up. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. 
Oops, I, I wanted to kick that and destroy it so I could get some more ice blocks. And that's another game over. We're going to be seeing this a lot. I thought about doing this at 150% speed, and I tried to do that through a lot of the main game. Uh, the thing is, uh, yeah, basically it's just more trouble than it's worth. This, this is a puzzle game, not an action game. 150% speed doesn't really... You know, it's not really that impressive. And frankly, a lot of the timing-based challenges in this game can be quite precise, so I had a lot of trouble. I went through most of the main game, actually, um, at 150% speed, and it, it ended up being quite quite a pain, actually. I did not did not enjoy that a whole lot. Okay, I think I, think I know what I want to do. I just don't know how to do it. Okay. Um... Oh, not quite. Ah, I, oh, I messed it up. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get them so that there's three of them right next to each other, bouncing back and forth on the the vertical springs there on the right. Or on the... yeah, it looks like the arena is symmetrical, so I don't think it matters what side... Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay, you know what? I had the right idea. Uh, a long time ago. Oops. Um, get rid of that. Okay, you come down here, please. And yeah, here we go. So what compelled me to give to do this game on Christmas here? Well, actually, this game came up uh, on Bricks Road stream just tonight, actually. And uh, okay. Okay, that's it. That's what we want. Now, can we get this? Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, you can ref... Oh, come on. So, uh, yeah, when you see the block kind of turn round there, that means it's about to disappear. Oh, we're so close. I can feel it. Oh, no, I... Oh, I screwed it up again. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh, wow, that was surprising. Yeah, this uh, game was pl uh, Brick Road played this as one of his little. I don't know. I don't want to. Exp uh, yeah, it'll take a while maybe to explain the nature of food. But basically, at the end of uh, yeah, there's a dude I'm subscribed to named uh, Brick Road Brick Road who uh, yeah he does some streaming sometimes. And at the end of his streaming sessions over on Twitch TV, uh, he'll sometimes just play a random video game that his viewers send into him. And what the game that he played tonight was uh, Kickle Cubicle. And that sort of I, I just sort of realized, oh yeah, Kickle Cubicle. That's a game from my childhood that I. Yeah, remember beating back in the day and really liking. And, uh, yeah, it was suggested that if I like it so much, maybe I should do a Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, frankly, I don't know if I'm ready to do a full-on Let's Play of this. That might come at some point in the future. This is an interesting game. Definitely, uh, worth checking out and worth Let's Playing at some point in the future, maybe. But, okay. Are these just going to align themselves eventually? I don't think so. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, this is it. That, that, that's, that is it. Whoops. Oh, wrong button. Freeze it. Okay. Okay, and that's, yes, that, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. And is that it? That's it. That's abridged all the red bags. Oh, we got to avoid. That would suck to get killed by this thing at this point. Oh, my. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so we're kind of getting the hang of this. Uh, th th these puzzles are much, much more difficult than anything in the main game of Kickle Cubicle. Like I said, I beat this when I was like... I beat this game. I just I didn't beat the special game. I've never played these before, but I beat the main game of Kickle Cubicle when I was five or six years old. And yeah, yeah I basically decided I was going to check out the game and... Uh, yeah, I was sort of doing some reading up on it, and I saw, oh, there's a special stage after the game. Maybe that would be something I could do, because I kind of wanted to do something special for Christmas. I just wasn't really sure what. Oh, I've got to... okay. Yeah, it looks like this is the only... oh, oh, that kills him. Okay, so these uh, chickens here are special enemies. Uh, they have they have an ability where if they're standing next to, uh, to a cube, they will kick it. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I guess this is the reason this guy here is here is to so I can kill myself if I screw things up. Oh, one sort of interesting thing about this game is the game over screen changes uh, depending on what level you're on. 
Uh, yeah, basically the your, the object of the game is to rescue four princesses from four different castles, and uh, yeah, the game over screen has uh, the princess that the most recent princess that you rescued will sort of encourage you on uh, whenever you die. So after you beat when you before you've rescued any princesses, Kickle will just sort of be lying there like, oh woe is me, I screwed things up, boo hoo in the first stage and then after you've rescued your first princess and you get a game over then this then you're uh yeah you'll see the sec the first princess will appear on the game over screen and she'll be all like hang in there kickle even though you screwed it up okay okay or another thing you can do actually is uh hit select i thought you could hit select am i mistaken about that okay Normally, I, be I believe that you could press the select button to suicide yourself and restart a stage. Maybe I just forgot to bind uh, select onto my keyboard. Or maybe right shift just doesn't work. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, and then what can I do with this? So, okay, yeah, because, yeah, our... I don't know if I can... Okay, I think... Okay, one thing that I haven't tried... I think he'll just destroy it if I do this, because, yeah, just killing the chickens isn't going to do anything. Okay, uh, that's no good. Oh, I've got it. Right. Again, you've got to sort of... Uh, again, I say, uh, I, I've been talking a lot about uh, sort of pro puzzle solving, solving processes and that kind of thing on my Lamu Lana videos. You sort of have to examine every single aspect or every single element of the puzzle room, and what question, just wonder, why is it there? So what is this doing here? Well, this says to me, what? Well, I could just, okay. Actually, okay, Let, let's be a man of action. We have a limited time. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's the solution. I mean, it's not quite the solution, because we screwed it up, but uh, yeah, I know what to do now. Again, this is a very clever puzzle. I'm enjoying this a lot. I think I might I might have to find it find within myself the stamina to go on for maybe more than an hour. Cuz oh my goodness, it's 20 20 minutes in and we're on round 3 of 30. Yeah, I'm definitely not get I I'm I am very surprised by how difficult this uh these puzzles are. Okay, I don't know why he kicks that first one. Maybe just to demonstrate their abilities in case you forgot. Oops, uh, there we go. And, okay. And if I'm not mistaken, there it is. Bridge to the other side. Um, I'll let you pass by, and then quick run through t before he gets back, and there we go. Puzzle solved. On to round four. Anyways, uh, went off on a few tangents there. Was I finished with all of them? Yeah, basically what I'm finding, I'm, I am pleasantly surprised by the challenge of these uh, extra game stages here. Okay, this is a new, me yeah, new mechanic. Uh, you can kick these hammers here, and if you kick a block into them, they'll swing around and uh, hit the block from the other side and send it flying. I will, I will demonstrate to you the hammer mechanics right now. Okay, so this seems like the most obvious thing to do right here. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so I wanna, when it hits this spring right here, I can kick it downwards, and that's one thing. So, okay, be ready with this. There. Oh, the, oh these Tanuki monsters are a huge pain. It looks like you can turn them into blocks and kick them, but you can't if you... You, you turn them into ice with your breath, but if you kick, the, uh, if you kick them, then they just... Uh, yeah, return to their regular form. The only way to kill these guys is with uh, by kicking kicking an ice block into them. Or uh, there are other ways to do it, actually. But So how do we do this? Um, oh, you know what? I think I have an idea. Whoops. Oh, that's not... That wasn't my idea. This is my idea. And then... Oh, yes, 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 this is the solution, you guys. Oops. Yes. That, that was another very clever one. It, it's kind of... It's clever, but it got kind of easier than the others. It kind of really... Yes, there you go. Kind, kind of funnels you in one direction. There's only so many logic... 
so many things you can do on that one that will sort of help you through. It's like if you think about where you need to go and what you need to do, that one's kind of an obvious one, I thought. Very clever, though. And again, they're, they kind of use the same gimmick a couple times in a row there as well. Uh, and yeah, Kickle Cubicle, not exactly a Christmas-themed game necessarily, but, you know, winter-themed. Close enough, I thought. And, uh, you know, it's a puzzle game, not really a very fast... I, I was thinking of doing maybe a Dota... Another Dota uh, Wraith Knight thing as a Christmas special, but, you know, I've done a bunch of those already, so that's not really that... That's not really anything special. And yeah, again, it looks like it's kind of starting me off. There's only one thing I can really do at the start here. And uh, yeah, there's only... And then after that, there's really only one thing I can do to keep things going. And then from here... Looks like that second chicken's just there to get in the way. And from here again, only one thing I can really do. And now there's two things. So I'm going to just pause it here because I don't want to run out of time. And let's let's consider this. Yeah, if we kick it to the right, well, we can get the one up there at least. Yeah, he'll kick it up there for us, and then that's our one up taken care of. So then what do we need to do after this? Yeah, and in addition to Dota Wraith Knight just not being terribly special, I also just didn't think that the, the idea of a horde mode would fit very well with this uh, sort of uh, chillaxed uh, music playlist I've prepared, so that was another thing. Whereas, you know, puzzle. Even though it is kind of an action puzzle game, you know, it's not terribly uh, intensive or anything like that. Frankly, I don't even know what video game would go well with this music. Um, okay, so what do we need to do? So we need to get down there. So one way to do that, we could put a block here. Oh, you know what else would do it? Is if we could get it two blocks to the right of my character here. If I could kick it down there. And I think I know exactly how to do it. Okay. And we just wait for him to kick it up. Take this down. Yes, and there it is. I believe he will kick that downwards, and there's our bridge across. Okay, that was another really good one. I think I'm getting the ha I'm, my brain's starting to work in the correct way to solve these puzzles. I have a better grasp of the mechanics now and the sort of tricks you can do to solve these. You don't really have to do anything nearly this complicated to solve mo any of the puzzles in the main game. Like I said, yeah, most of the things in the main game can be solved in less than 15 seconds. It's just a matter of uh, execution. Not too many uh, terribly taxing execution challenges here, though. Although, the it kind of annoys me the way that this game uh, puts a lot of enemies all over the place that are just not relevant to the puzzles. It's, it's like you have a puzzle to solve with the little dude you can turn into an ice block, and then they'll just throw a bunch of irrelevant enemies so that you have something to dodge constantly while you're trying to solve it. It's, it can be a bit of a hassle sometimes. Like, uh, these shield guys are only there to get in your way and uh, force you to have to dodge around doing stuff. So what can we do with this guy? Well, okay. Going down here wouldn't do us anything. We can't bring it down here. Oh! Oh, you destroyed my... Oh. That's a real shame. Oh, well. Freeze this guy. Get him out of here. And they, 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 they respawn constantly, and way too fast, I think, as well. Ah, oh, they destroyed him. If I can lure these guys away from here somehow, that would be fantastic. Oh, wow, I was not expecting him to make the sudden turnaround there. Yeah, I don't know, I, I was thinking of... Like, there's a lot of games I could have done for this kind of thing. I was thinking maybe a Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon. That's another game that I kind of, just for no good reason, I associate Sonic the Hedgehog with Christmas, because... I don't know, just most, a lot of the most, actually I think I told that story in my Sonic 1 LP, how just the, mo the most excited I've ever been to get a Christmas gift was when I got uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 <laughs> for, uh, one year. 
And it was just the happiest I'd ever been for no good reason. <laughs> okay, so it looks like... So we've got a couple options here. So where do we need to get it? What we, well, what we want to do is we want to kick it in right here where this guy's... Where I'm standing right now. And we want to kick it here from the left. If we can get it here from the left side with the hammer in this position, then the hammer will swing around and kick it down. So how do we do that? If we can stop it here... Um, oh yes! Okay, you, if you, a lot of times you just sort of, yeah, need to figure out where you need to go and work backwards from there. And that, that's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of how you can solve these puzzles. So, okay, so we, if we can get it here, then we push it there and it's solved. Push it here, here. And I think that's most of our solution. Okay. So, oh no, that's wrong. Okay, that's close to being right. You take this down. Okay, little bit of an execution chip barrier there. Just have to be a little bit quick on the draw with that post, and... And there it is. Alright, what is that? Round seven or so? I think that deserves another swig of the old eggnog. Ah, oh, that was round six. Premature celebration there. Oh well. Any time is good for eggnog. Um, hmm. Okay, so... So what do we do with this? Do I have enough to... Like, the solution, again, seems... Whoops, obvious. Oh, except... Oh, okay. Right, that spiked ball... will destroy my blocks, but only if they're in motion. Okay, but again, this seems like a pretty easy one. All right. Yep, it's, it's fun at least. But yeah, it's, oops. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to make one more go round. Okay, and make a quick trip across before they melt away, and there it is. That's round seven. I would say that deserves another swig of eggnog, but alas, already drank it. Wouldn't that just be terribly unprofessional if I just went to upstairs to pour myself another glass right in the middle of this video? I mean, hey, keep myself within the festive spirit. That's, that's kind of sad if you need rum and eggnog to keep yourself festive at this time of year. I, 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 especially, I, I don't need rum and eggnog to be cheerful and happy right now. I'm playing Kickle Cubicle, a great game. Actually, it's, it's not the main game, actually, isn't that great. It's kind of uh, extremely easy, and it, it's great if you're like five years old, which I was, I was around that age when I first played it. Um, okay, so... I think, I think I've already got a read on this. We need to, yeah, just bring it backwards and down. So how do we do that? Okay, I think I've, think I've got it. I just wanted to kill all these clowns, but... Okay, so what we do... So we'll kick it... Yeah, we'll kick it in here. Or, oh, no, that's not the solution. Okay, no, we kick it down here. I was thinking we'd go in here, but then we ha don't have a way to get it started. Okay, so that being the case, we're going from the opposite direction. We want it this way. And this way. I don't know, maybe I could turn Kickle Cubicle into a Christmas tradition. I don't know. But yeah, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Ah. Oh. I did not think very hard about what I was doing there. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think we have the basic solution at hand here. Okay. Um, this is correct. That's... oh! Got beach balled. Lost the quick draw duel on that one. 
You know, there is a mechanic in the main game where if you score enough points, you basically get to skip a level. It's like if you get uh, beyond a certain score threshold, a ring will appear, and you can collect it, and just uh, all of the enemies disappear, and power-ups flood the level, and uh, yeah, a little while later, you just win. I don't know if that's possible in these uh, special stages. I, I, I suppose we'll probably never know, because... Alas, these are very difficult, and I'm not very likely to score high enough. Or, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to be that close. So we have the right idea, but we want to be as far away as possible from that first hammer when we kick the, kick the cube. I don't know why I wanted it over to the far right. But yeah, we want it on the left here. Yeah, I was thinking maybe that'll be for next Christmas. A big Sonic the Hedgehog marathon. I thought that might be a bit redundant, though, since I uh, already did a recent Sonic the Hedgehog LP. And yeah, a lot of the stuff I'd talk about with that would just be the same stuff I'd talk about here. Sonic the Hedgehog. Loved getting that game for Christmas that one year. So, so happy for no good reason. Kickle Cubicle, not really any sort of Christmas-themed memories around that. Just very, very early memories. Probably one of my earliest memories of a video game, in fact. That's kind of interesting. Or actually, I think I... I think I vaguely remember playing the Sunsoft Batman uh, before this. Although I, I sure as heck didn't beat that <laughs> way back in the day. I don't... I, I'm pretty sure I never even would have made it past the first stage back then. Okay, how do we do this? Again, work your way backwards. We need to be in one of these squares. Well, okay, actually, let's look at this in terms of what we can do. We can just kick this, kick it here, and then what happens next? Um, I want to... I don't know what type of... Okay. So that's not going to do it. That'll just send it coming back the way it came, and I'll have no way to stop it. Or will I? This will do it. I think this is it. Uh, I'll refreeze that. Um, hmm, this will be a bit tricky. Ooh, this will be quite tricky. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to kick it up here. I'm going to go like this. It'll go up here, and then to the left, and then all the way back, and then I, this hammer will be in the way, so I need to get it out of the way before that happens. And is everything lined up? Yes. Okay, it's gonna come on down, and there it is. Okay, that was a nice one. I feel like these puzzles aren't getting any harder, though. Maybe we'll just have a nice even difficulty curve to go through the rest of these. That would be nice. Special game round 10, one third of the way there, about two thirds of the way through my playlist. Oh well, we'll see if we can, I don't know, pick up the pace? I don't feel like picking up the pace. I'm in a, I'm in a good chillaxing kind of mood. Hey, we don't have to beat the, in fact, you guys probably don't want to see the, all of this anyways. I mean, yeah, this is these are major puzzle spoilers. I am showing off how to solve every puzzle. Uh, yes, this looks right. Every puzzle in the special game. And, you know, I'm sure though anyone watching this video is probably interested in, you know, puzzle games and solving puzzles and that kind of thing. I want to leave some for you guys. So, yeah, this will just be a nice little hour-long Christmas special to show off, I guess, the mechanics of a, of a puzzle game some of you guys might not be familiar with. And, I guess, in the process, uh, showing off a few solutions for that as well. So, what do we want to do next? Um... Let's see, that'll just rock it back and forth forever. Well, okay, let's just do the obvious thing, and, uh... What is the obvious thing? I don't even know. Okay, the obvious thing is this, and then this, and then just stop it right in front of the next spring. And then, okay, this is, a, this is actually a trick that uh, we've had... To, that you would have had to do in the main game here. Um, okay, we want to stop it here. Go like this. Yeah, there's a whole level based around uh, 
doing this where you uh, kick something off a spring and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I think what I want to do... Oh, I didn't quite get the A button in time. I think I have the correct idea, though. Do I? Oh, well, we can get that far again this time. I've been doing a lot of puzzle game stuff lately, it seems. I guess ma mainly solving puzzles in La Mulana. That's sort of a big thing of what I like in video games. It's like e even non-puzzle games, I tend to approach as sort of being puzzles that I need to solve. Like Me Mega Man bosses, I sort of approach as sort of puzzles where there's sort of an optimal solution as far as the right way. You know, what? how, how can you manipulate boss patterns in order to beat them easily? Sort of figuring, solving a puzzle in that way, kind of. Um, now what do we do? Okay, here's what we do. There we go. Much safer. And then... Yeah. No. Okay. I messed this up a little bit. Gotta put gotta put our post down first. Next time we'll have it. Oh, assuming we don't run out of time. Oh well. I'm not worried. I'd actually be kind of interested to see a speed run of this game. There probably is one out there. This isn't the this isn't like a super obscure game or anything. I've seen this you know, discussed a fair bit on the internet before. Um, yeah, this will do. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's some of you out there have heard of this game before. And I'm, yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of Let's Plays out there for it, and that some speed runs as well. Okay, and now, wouldn't it suck to get killed by turtles this far? And these turtle enemies are really irritating. And yeah, again, pretty much all of the enemies in this game, apart from the little Zelda blobs, are, uh, have nothing to do with the puzzle solutions. They're just there to kill you and be a nuisance. You know, take your lumps. If that's the way they want to design their game, who am I? Okay, this actually looks like a pure action base. Or, oh, no, it isn't. Okay, so I can kick this out of the way. I don't have anywhere to dodge to, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just give it a shot. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think I can make it. No, I can't. Oh no, that was a hole underneath there. I was thinking I could dash through at just the right moment. Uh, another game over. That's our first one in a while. Maybe I'm getting better in this. Or maybe I'm just taking longer to solve the puzzles. Alright, special game, round 11. You know, I, can, given that I enjoy puzzle solving and uh, puzzle games so much, I've actually been wanting to... There's a seri an idea I've had for a long time, a series on puzzle games that I've wanted to do. Oh, you know what? I think I've got this. Although I don't know what to do with this. Maybe that's just there to melt, because yeah, as soon as I kick that out, then the other one will be after me. Oh, um, I messed up a... I messed up the timing on that, but uh, I think the basic idea was right. Let's try that again. All right, I think we're coming to the end of this CD. Things are, you know, if this, you know, if the kind of laid-back, chillaxin, Christmassy type songs aren't your thing. Okay, there we go. Um, I've got something a little different coming up after this, but uh, we'll get to that. When we get to it, I guess. Oh, I think, yeah, time is going to be tight here. Okay, I could have done that. that. I would have made it there if I hadn't uh, missed my timing around that corner there. Again, I think a keyboard is not really optimal for this type of game, but, you know, it's all I got available to me at the moment. Uh, okay, just wait this out. Nice. Okay, and my blocks are gonna melt pretty soon. Ooh, a little... Okay, that was close. There we are. That, actually, that was actually a pretty easy one. 
I don't know, we've got a long way to go. Long, long way to go. Special game round 12. Almost halfway there. Sort of. Not really. That's like, what, four left to, till halfway? Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. It looks easy. Well, again, only really one thing we can do at the start here. So that helps. That's one, one bag out of the way. We're halfway there. And, okay, and then if we... Ah! Bit of a tight squeeze there between the Tanuki and the Blob. Um... Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm really kind of getting into this. To this. I, I, I might want to do a full clear after all. I would, I would probably have to go away. And, uh... Okay, here we are. This is my, uh, yeah, second playlist that I've got here. Uh, this is, uh, this, this is actually a pretty old one. Uh, collection of sort of 8-bit styled arrangements of, oh, you know, well-known Christmas songs. This is, uh, 8-Bit Jesus is the name of the album by, oh, I'm, <laughs> dang it, I'm blanking on the name of the artist. Uh, Dr. O Octorock. I believe that's it. Doc Octorock is the guy who made this one. A little bit more upbeat and perhaps appropriate, you know, for the type of game we're playing. NES game. Got, got, it's got some NES Christmas. NES chiptune. Christmas. NES Christmas chiptunes to go with our little winter themed game in our Christmassy video. Okay, so. Um. And again, yeah, these Tanukis are a real hassle. <laughs> or I guess I could just freeze them and not have to deal with them. Oh, we don't get a second one. Okay, so my solution I thought I was going to do isn't going to work. We only get one ice block to work with. So... Oh, uh, let's just stop off both of these. Oh, these dang Tanukis. There we are. And what can we do from here? Left... can't move it from the left, can't move it from the right. What if we go down? Whoop. Uh, oh, refresh, refresh. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can go down. That'll kick it right back up to us. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, I thought that Tanuki was gonna take me out. Okay, and then what happens? Oh, and then this happens. Okay. Yeah, again, kind of a nice simple one. Uh, linear. You really only have one obvious thing to do at each step in the puzzle. Is this 15? Nope, 12. 13. That, that was 12, rather. <laughs> I don't know, I actually just kind of think of it, I probably don't have the energy in me. I, I don't have enough... Don't have enough Christmas spirit, I think, to sustain a full commentary for a full playthrough of this. You know, this will just be a nice little... Nice little bonus. Maybe introduce some of you guys to a game you weren't familiar with before. And yeah, you can check it out. And yeah, this isn't even the main game. You won't see all this until you've beaten the main game, so... Yeah, you can take a quick run through that. Uh, it takes... Uh, maybe... About a couple hours, maybe? Or no, less than that. Probably closer to 90 minutes to beat the main game, and then... Yeah, as long as you're seeing me take it to beat the extra game, so... Uh, so what do we do with this? Need to get him. I mean, yeah, there's no way. There aren't any hammers here. There's no way. Oh. I think I know what to do. Or at least I have the idea. Because, yeah, there's no. There's no hammers, and I can't raise ice blocks here on these dark blue blocks. Remember that. So, I, uh. There's no way to get the blocks down from here. I've got to get them to stop here and kick them down here. But there's no way to do that. Unless I were to make them collide with each other. So how do we do that? Okay, so I think I kick this down. Yeah, it'll kick it back up. Kick this, it'll kick it back up. Okay. I don't know, the timing's gonna be... Oh, oh wait, no, that's not how it works. Um... Oh! Again, look at every single piece of the room. And, uh, yeah, it's because it's probably important to solving the puzzle. 
So if we do this little stop here... Yeah, and then we can get them both down here. Just like this. Okay, then uh, kick them up. And there it is. Whoa. Okay, uh, good enough. Oh, and now we have this little mess to contend with. Um, I think I'm going to kick it down and let them out. Let as many out as can get out. Will another one come out? Oh, I really don't want to have to mess with this. Damn it! Oh. Uh, that's really, really frustrating how they have uh, the most difficult part of the puzzle right at the end there. Oh, well, it doesn't take too long to go through all that once you know what you're doing. Collect up all the fudgicles. Actually, I don't really know what kind of ice cream treat those most resemble. It's like a frozen caramel thing with a little bit of chocolate slathered over it. Okay, um, we've got our block in a slightly different place. Maybe that'll let a few more of them out. I almost got schooled by that little blob there. Oh, please let more of them out. I could wait for them to bounce that bag towards... Ah, towards me, just like that. Come on, bounce it over here. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, that was my chance. Okay. No! Okay. Oh, dang! No! Oh, man. Maybe I should have gone with the chill and music all the way through. I can feel my blood pressure rise just because I don't have the... Don't have the nice chill and Christmas tunes to keep me calm. It's fine, it's just video games. It's Christmas, and it's just video games, and I forgot to stick my block in there. Okay, get this in. Get that in. And we'll go left, right. And get them right near the center, hopefully. Okay, another, uh, and again, we have a different space. So hopefully this will let out three of them this time. That was close. <laughs> nope, that is less than three. Oh no, there it is. That's... I mean, it's still less than three, but it's two at least. You know what I could maybe do? Or no, these... I don't know, I doubt that these things get destroyed. Yeah, they don't. Oh, that's one of them out. Yes, this is my chance. Oh, this is definitely my chance. That's all of them gone. Just patience. Patience is the key. And yeah, I'd be much more patient if I had uh, slightly less upbeat music to go on along with it. But, you know, this is still a great uh, album. I really like this. This is kind of a Christmas standard that I like to play. Uh, I mean, not on, not on recordings or anything, obviously. This is the first year I've actually done YouTube recordings. But just in general, um, you know, in the car, on the road, just anywhere like to listen to these. I've been listening to the 8-Bit Jesus many, many years at around Christmas time. So now what do we do with this? Well, I mean, I think there's one easy, obvious thing that follows here. Oh, or, or it doesn't. I did not realize that was going to break across this. What about this? Will it break? on the top of the hammer. No, it won't. But there's nothing useful I can do from here. Or is there? Or, okay, I could do this anyways, but... I don't think this gets me anything good. Um... Okay, so I get that. And then what? I'll kick it over to the right. Oh, and yeah, that's another way you can kill enemies there. Kind of neat. This will kick it up, and that'll be one out of the way, I believe. Yep, that gets this one. So then how do we get it down? Well, in order to do that, we would need... What would we need? Um... Okay, we could get one up here. 
think this will work. Or I don't know. So if I could get another one on the other side, and then another one, I don't know. Seems like it could be a tricky one. Oh well, let's just try the same thing we did last time. And... Hammer time! Now, what are we gonna do? Whoop. Oh, that was close. Okay, this will kick it over to the right and kick it up. Okay, that's not quite what I want to do, though. So what do I want to do? Okay, I could block it here. Oh, that does nothing for me, though. Where else? Where else? I can block it block this. That does nothing for me. Oh, you know, oh, dear. I don't need the hammer to bring this up. I can just do that. And then... And then what? What did I want to do with this again? Why did I think this was a good idea? Okay, so I block... Oh, right. I block this and I come around from the other side. Right. That was, yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. That's a joke, because I did think of it earlier, and I just forgot about it. Jokes really aren't good if you have to explain them, which is why you can tell that I never have any good jokes, ever. And yeah, just kick it back down, and there it is. Nope. Dang it. Dang it. So what do we do now? Well, we're almost out of time, so whatever we want... <laughs> Sorry, I, I, forgot, I, I was going to explain this, and it was going to be funny, and it was going to be all timed out correctly. A joke came up on Brick Road stream where someone wondered, what is Kickle listening to on those little headphones that he's got on his ears all the time? And someone in chat suggested, burn my dread. So I looked that up, and here it is. So, yeah. Shout, shout outs to Shadow Warrior Luke. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Kickle Cubicle listening to Burn. Just picture, have this running in the background as you're playing through Kickle Cubicle. Oh, there's my time over. Have this in the background as you're playing through Kickle, Kickle Cubicle, and just picture that this is what uh, Kickle is listening to on his way through. Kind of amusing, I thought at least. Again, probably not funny, because it has so much explanation had to go into it, but... And with that, yeah, this is the last song in the playlist, so that's probably... Would be nice to... I mean, what is this? This is round 15, I think? It would be really nice to get at least halfway through this special mode here. Maybe pick it up in a second. Maybe I could do a New Year's video with the back half of these. And yeah, um, as far as the regular music in this game, uh, you're not missing much. Um, trust me, I, I, I would not have decided to replace the soundtrack if I thought it were anything extremely special or anything like that. It's decent, but there, there aren't a lot of songs in this game, really. There's like one... yeah, the, the different worlds don't even have different music. There is one piece of music that plays during the stages, one that plays on the map, and one... Uh, that you get during boss fights. It's, it gets kind of repetitive, so... So that's why I've decided uh, not to include it in this video. And th yeah, that's why we, we get to listen to Burn My Dread instead. Okay. This, and... So this will get us back to where we were uh, last time. And that's wrong. Okay, yeah, if I can just solve this, that'll make me happy. And I can... Yeah, be happy. So... So this will get me the one on the right. Almost didn't get... Almost forgot to get the hammer out of the way. Wouldn't that just be perfect timing if I could get it in time? For this song to end, although that seems unlikely at this point. Okay, so now what do we do? 
Well... I don't know what we do, I really don't. Because, yeah, in order to... Yeah, we in order to get it... So what do we need? So it, the hammer would have to come around... Yeah, we'd have to kick it from the right to get it to, to, to hammer it down, so that's not possible. Um, we could get it up here somehow. If I could get it here, that would do it. How would I get it here? I would get it here, um... You know, the best way to get it here would be what I tried before, but that doesn't work. Okay, so let's burn my dread. Done with. And I guess we go through the rest of this video with, uh, with uh, just no music. This is a bit... A little bit awkward. Um... Or do I have this playlist to repeat? Um... I do not. Okay, we're just gonna go through a cappella, I guess. <laughs> or solo, or sans. That, okay, we'll go till the next game over, and uh, if I don't get it by then, I suppose I'll just give up. Okay, so what we can do is we can go like this. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty easy. And then like this. Yeah, that was very easy. <laughs> just overthinking things. So okay, that's it. Uh, yeah. This has been the <laughs> Jasu Bakuhatsu uh, Kickle Cubicle Christmas Special. Oh, that was only round 14, so I guess we didn't quite get uh, halfway through this. Is this is this going to be one that I can get through in short order? Probably not. Or maybe. I'm I, like a, I'm addicted. I'm addicted now. So well, we can just start things off. And yeah, this will just go back and forth forever. So if I can get that hammer out of the way... Let's see. I'll give this one... You know what, I'll, tr I'll give this a couple shots, and then uh, on Game Over, we'll call it. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong... That was not what I wanted to do. So what did I want to do? I actually don't even know. Okay, that's what, that's what I was thinking. And now, what am I thinking? Well, what can we even do with this, really? We can get the hammer in the way. We can get it on its way down. And that'll get it to the next set of springs. Okay. That's something, I guess. Can we do anything with this? You know what? Yeah, this is really, really not working out without the uh, background music. So I think, I think I'm gonna call it here. You guys can just have a few more moments to look at this, see if you can figure it out. Hey, po post. You know, well, for once, I'll allow spoilers in the comments. Post if you think you have the solution to this puzzle. By all means, describe it in the comments. And uh, yeah, with that, Merry Christmas to you all, or Hanukkah, or. Kwanzaa, I don't even know what that is, or Ramadan, I don't even know what that is. Whatever. Season's greetings to you all. Or Mer Merry Christmas, as they... Sorry. <laughs> I, I should not have... You, you've watched this far, I shouldn't subject you to that. But I will anyways. Merry Christmas to all of you. This has been Jasu Bakuhatsu, playing Kickle Cubicle for you guys on this fine Christmas, bleh, Christmas day for you. Christmas Eve, rather. And, uh, yeah, until next year. Have a good one.